Welcome to using the advanced features of the MyPrint system. By the end of this lesson, you should know how to log in to your MyPrint account, how to use the web print feature to print from a mobile device, how to view your print summary, view your transaction history, view your recent print jobs, and view any print jobs that are pending release. There are many advanced features of MyPrint that will allow you to better manage your print jobs, print remotely, and be aware of how much you're printing. In order to access these features, the first thing we need to do is log into our MyPrint account. To do this, we need to get to the MyPrint login screen. There are multiple ways to get to the screen. One way is go to the MyPrint webpage at www.southwest.tn.edu slash MyPrint and click on the student user login. Another way is to click on details in the MyPrint dialog box that comes up when you log into the computer screen. And additionally, you can get to the MyPrint website by clicking on the MyPrint website in the dialog box as well. Once we are on this login page, we can use our normal Southwest login to get into our MyPrint account. I will type mine in, F Matthews, and then my password. Click login. The first thing that we see is our print summary. It tells us our username, our print balance, our total printing jobs, and the total number of pages we printed. The next thing we see is our activity graph. If you've spent your print balance, it'll show that it go down as you've printed print jobs. And at the bottom, there are some interesting facts about how much our printing for the semester has affected the environment. If we click on transaction history in the upper left, we will now see a list of our MyPrint transactions sorted by date. If we click on any of the headings, such as transacted by or amount, we can sort the list according to these parameters. This allows you to see when you added funds to your account and how much was added. If we click on the next option, Recent Print Jobs, it will give us a similar chart that tells us the date a job was printed, who the job was charged to, what print of the job was printed from, how many pages the job was, what the cost was for the job, the name of the document, the printer settings, and the status of the print job. Like the last page, we can sort the list according to any of these attributes by clicking on one of them at the top. For example, if we wanted to see the jobs the most pages, we can click on Pages, and it will sort the jobs according to how many pages each job contained. If we click on Jobs Pending Release, we can see if there are any print jobs that we told a program on the computer to print, but we've not yet hit the OK button on the MyPrint dialog box, which asks us to confirm each print job before it goes to the printer. We have the option to either Release All, which will send them all to the printer, or Cancel All, which will cancel all pending print jobs. We can also refresh the page to see if there are any new print jobs that have been submitted since we opened this web page. The last feature we will explore is the web print feature. This allows you to print your document from anywhere you have an internet connection. This includes mobile devices such as laptops, tablets, or smartphones. In order to start the process, click on Submit a Job. The next screen will ask you which printer you want to print to. Click on the radio button beside the printer you wish to print your documents from. For example, if we were currently working on our laptop in the Parish Library on the Union Campus, we would choose the Union Avenue Campus Parish Library Printer. Once you've selected your printer, click on 2. Print Options and Account Selection. It will now ask us how many copies of our document we want to print. Let's leave it at 1, then click on 3, Upload a Document. One limitation of WebPrint is that it only prints saved documents. The only types of documents that you can print are Microsoft Office PowerPoint, Excel, and Word documents, Microsoft XPS documents, and PDF documents. In order to select the document we want to print, click on Choose File, and a File Open dialog box will appear. 
I will then browse to wherever my file is. For this example, I'm going to go to my removable flash drive and I'm going to choose research paper dot docx. Next, click on upload and complete. The system will then upload your document and send it to the printer. You will get a message say at the top of the screen that says your job was successful and the status of the job will tell you when it is finished rendering it and it has been sent to the queue for printing. And of course if you're done with using your MyPrint account you can click on log off to log out of the system. If you encounter problems printing ask the staff in the library or at the help desk for assistance. If there are any other issues with printing or your print credit, call 333-HELP. Before we end our lesson, let's go over the key terms and phrases that we learned. Release a print job. This means you're approving a print job. When you send a document to the printer, it's held by the computer system until you approve slash release it to be printed by the printer. Upload a document. Uploading a document basically means you are giving slash uploading a copy of your document to a website or web server. Web print. Web print is a feature of the MyPrint system that allows you to upload a document from your mobile device and have it printed by a university printer at the location of your choice. Today we learned about how to log into our MyPrint account, use the web print feature to print from a mobile device, view our print summary, view our transaction history, view our recent print jobs, and view any print jobs pending release. I hope you learned something and as always if you have any more questions please email me at fmatthews at southwest.tn.edu